Hello, what's up, and welcome back to another interview at the side event hosted by Hero and APTA. We are here with Adam from the APTA team, and uh, we just had a nice presentation at this uh, wonderful uh, turnout and, uh, of audience. And I want to ask you, uh, before we get into it, Adam, who are you? Tell us your story and why are you here? Sure, sure. So um, my name is Adam Lucy. I'm one of the co-founders of APTA, but I'm the chief business op uh, officer. I'm the non-technical side of the business, essentially. And uh, yeah, my story is I was born and raised in Dubai. I'm a German national. Um, I went to university uh, at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. I did my engineering degree over there. And then I moved back to Dubai, worked in venture capital, and I founded an IT uh, dev business that's based in, in here in India. Uh, we employ over 50 software engineers. I'm still invested in that company, uh, but now I, I'm focused uh, on APTA. That's, that's where the future is, to be honest, what we're doing. Um, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm curious to know how, the, how you um, founded, uh, how you co-founded APTA. Tell us that story. So you know that our other founders all have their PhDs uh, yes. from the University of Cambridge in AI, right? And what happened for me was throughout my IT business, I saw that there was a huge demand in AI dev work starting in 2021. I think that was the first inquiry that we had. Um, and so I, I've, I've known the guys for quite some time and I started flying to Cambridge more and, I, and they didn't really see an opportunity yet. But what had happened in 2021 and 2022 was a lot of these other companies, especially after the like post chat GPT era, mm. started reaching out to them for research work and consulting work. Mm. So then we decided, I said that, you know, I, especially in the space that I was working in, in terms of venture capital, family offices, I was quite well connected. Uh, we came up with a Cambridge AI Studios. Uh, essentially that what we were doing is doing exactly what we're doing, but for other people not owning the IP. Mm. We were doing consulting and, and development, right? So. Over time, we saw with our clients that they were ha struggling on the same issue, which is they want to have uh, the ability of building AI or using AI that has more complex reasoning, logic, um, more structured and more niche for what they want to do. So automated tasks, etc. Mm. When enough people started contacting us for that, we realized, we said, we have the capability of, of doing it in-house. We have the right network to be able to do this. And we could build products, which then we could go to our clients and other people in the industry and apply our technologies maybe on, on their specific niche and, and data. Oh, wow. So we wanted to move more uh, horizontally. So of course, it's a specific vertical, but we move horizontally with individual partners who can help us go to market because at the end of the day, we're really good at what we do. We know that there's a lack in the market currently of getting people who are good enough to do this type of high complexity in, in development. And uh, that's where we are today. And I think that we, we, we propose something very, very niche in the market. And most of the town that's coming out of the same places as our technical founders they're getting recruited by big tech or other large organizations or funds that you know are worth a lot more startups are, are struggling a little bit or they're founding startups right? right so it's hard to get real employees let's say or teams out there unless you're paying extremely high fees mm. to be doing this to the level that we're doing and of course our business model is not building ip for others it's about collaborating with companies and building a company together Makes sense. I love that. Um, at the moment, for the audience who may not know, uh, there are four, as I understand, there are four um, uh, hero uh, products here. There's AI search, there's AI browser, there's AI wallet, a payment, right? So I'm curious to know, um, uh, are each of them monetizing or some of them are monetized? How does it work? Of course, all of them are monetized, but I'm not really... I the structure is complex, but I can really kind of fine tune it for the AI search, which apps is responsible for. Sure. I think Hero Browser has a lot of other different um, areas of monetizing their, 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 their company. And for example, like ads and stuff, right? right? So for the Hero search, how do we make money? We're a subscription and a freemium model. Okay. Of course, people to get market share, we're going to be free. People can use us. We can hopefully help enough people to, to really know what's going on and use our tool to make better decisions. But um, we also have an ad network, right? So people will be able to, similar to Google, uh, mm. to sponsor content. Of course, everything is going to be told when things are sponsored, when it's sponsored content. We do our due diligence on our end to make sure none of our sponsors are, uh, you know, bad actors in the space. Right. But that's one way. We also make money off affiliates. So when we redirect our users to different companies to sign up, if they're looking to set up maybe crypto accounts in different regions or they're looking any 
any company that's willing to do affiliate programs, we'll try to maximize that. So every mm. time we send our user base to them, we make money from there. Mm. So subscriptions, uh, affiliate marketing, and of course ads, that's the, the main area. Of course, as we progress, we will find more, more ways, ways, right? Wonderful. Another thing is I think in the future when we uh, redirect users to do certain swaps on platforms, we'll make commission off oh, that. Yeah. That's true. Thank you so much. Sign up. Yeah, thank you so much. so much. There's so much in this space. And I'm glad that now the, the audience can sort of say, oh, okay, I understand how you're monetizing. I get it. And maybe they'll get a better picture. So um, thank you for your time, Adam. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll leave all the links in the description so you can check out Adam's profile and both Apta and Hero. But again, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Cheers.